good afternoon. It's March the 10th. And <clears throat> I want to do a brief video today, uh, and I'm calling it The Five Biggest Lies About the California Lemon Law, because as I go online and as I listen to people talk about the California Lemon Law, I hear a lot of misinformation out there, and I hope that this video helps to clarify the misinformation. Before I go into the five biggest lies, I just want to basically give you the basics of the California Lemon Law. If you have a defect uh, in the car that comes up within the warranty period and they cannot fix it after a reasonable number of repair attempts, then you may have a Lemon Law claim and you should contact a lawyer about whether you do have a Lemon Law claim. That one sentence really is the basics of the California Lemon Law. A defect under the warranty and they cannot repair it within a reasonable number of repair attempts when you've given them an opportunity to do it. Obviously, there's some wrinkles, there's some complications. You need a lawyer to probably review the specifics, but that's the basic of the California Lemon Law. Now, let's go into the five biggest lies about the California Lemon Law, because as you go online or as you, you know, read publications, including publications from the California, uh, the California Secretary of State, uh, unfortunately, you'll find some mis misinformation about the California Lemon Law. So let's start out with uh, big lie number one, that the California Lemon Law only applies to new cars. This is not true. If you buy a used car or a certified pre-owned car with a warranty, with a warranty, and you have defects that come up during the warranty period, you have rights or you potentially have rights under the California Lemon Law. So that's big lie number one. Big lie number two, you have to have four or more repair attempts within the first 12,000 or 18,000 miles. That is not true. Uh, you have to have the defect come up within the warranty period. As we all know, the warranty period for a lot of cars these days is 48 or 50,000 miles or even 100,000 miles for some cars. You have to have a defect come up within the warranty period and you have to give the manufacturer or the dealer a reasonable opportunity to repair the vehicle uh, within the warranty period. Obviously, a more serious problem, you need fewer repair attempts, a less serious problem, you need more repair attempts, and that's something you, you can go over with your lawyer. But big line number two is that you have to have four repair attempts within the first 12 months, uh, within the uh, 12 months or 12,000 miles, or 18 months, 18,000 miles, simply not true. Uh, those, those thresholds, those uh, limits, uh, do concern one specific part of the Lemon Law, but it doesn't answer the basic question of whether you have or potentially have a Lemon Law claim. Uh, big lie number three, that you have to pay a lawyer to pursue a Lemon Law case. Not true. Um, my firm takes most of the Lemon Law cases that we sign up on a contingency basis, and so do most Lemon Law lawyers that I know. Big lie number four, that uh, Lemon Law uh, will not cover a business use vehicle. For instance, if you're a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant, and you have your own professional corporation, and you have fewer than five cars, re you know, passenger cars, registered to your professional corporation, uh, you have rights under the California Lemon Law. The California Lemon Law was specifically amended about five years ago to give the, the very small businessman, the guy just with one or two cars registered to the professional corporation, uh, rights under the California Lemon Law. Finally, big line number five, that the Lemon Law only applies to passenger vehicles. Simply not true. It applies to any consumer good. It applies to RVs. It applies to sea dues. It applies to motorcycles. Uh, anything which is a, a large consumer good item with a warranty, you have potential California Lemon Law rights if they are not able to repair the vehicle or the RV or the boat or the sea dew or the motorcycle within a reasonable number of repair attempts under the warranty. So anyway, I hope that this uh, video has been helpful to you. It gives you some real, real basics about the California Lemon Law. Remember, uh, your specific case may involve, uh, you know, little twists and turns, which is why you need to speak to an experienced lawyer who knows about the California Lemon Law. That, of course, would include me and my firm. Uh, please give us a call if you have any questions. Thanks very much.